everyone. Welcome to Moto Mankey. My name's Mankey, by the way, <laughs> for those of you who don't know. For any new watchers or viewers, whatever. A few months ago now, I posted a video about the changes for the Honda Goldwing for 2023. There are lots of rumors about the Goldwing standard being discontinued. And there are rumors about the six-speed manual tra transmission going away and the, all the Goldwings would go DCT only, that kind of stuff. But now we have the official statements from Honda themselves. And pictures and everything, so... I'm gonna go over the official changes of what Honda's changing for the Goldwing for 2023. Because I figured since I put the other video up, I should do a follow-up video with the correct information. <laughs> because the previous video had a lot of rumors in it. There were all these, there were some official statements from Honda corporate themselves, but they were in Japanese and some of the translations weren't the best, but there was official statement from Honda saying the going standard was going away. It just wasn't clear as to what markets they were going away in and that kind of stuff. Well, now we know. Officially, for 2023, the Goldwing standard six-speed transmission is discontinued. It's going away, you can't buy it in 2023, going forward ever again. The Goldwing standard will from now on only be a DCT version. Now the Goldwing standard is the non-tour version of the Goldwing, meaning without the tour pack on the back. Basically the Honda Street Glide, pretty much, I guess. If you look at it like that, that's how you want to view it. So the six-speed goalie standard is gone. Discontinued. No more. So anyway, that wants a Goldwing standard in a six-speed, you're going to have to buy one now. The 2022 version, there are leftovers. Or find a used one because you won't be able to buy new ones with the six-speed from now on. But the Goldwing Tour version still has both the six-speed and the DCT available. So the six speed is not going away. It's only partially going away, <laughs> half going away. But the tour version still has both transmissions. Now, other than that, there are no physical changes to the Goldwing for 2023. Nothing's changed on the bike. The navigation is the same. The setup is the same. Controls are the same. Nothing has been modified. There were rumors about the Goldwing getting adaptive cruise control, like the BMW, or one of the BMWs has that, I think, or is getting it. I'm not sure which bike I'm a fan, I forget, but there were rumors that Honda was gonna put adaptive cruise control on the Goldwing as well for 2023. That's not happening. Uh, who knows, maybe down the road they'll happen, but for 2023, it's not a thing. The only other change is they've reduced the color options that are available for the Goldwing. I mean, really reduced them. The Goldwing Tour now only has two colors available. Red and black. The same red and black we've had for a while. Uh, the white's gone. The Hawkside Blue is gone. That awesome uh, blue that was available only in 2022. Whatever it was called. I can't remember the name. It was a blue. It was a deep blue. It was even better looking than this bike, I think. That blue they had last year was really nice. That's gone. <laughs> so, the Goldwing Tour can only be bought in uh, Ardent Red, I think it's called, and Gloss Black. That's it. Those are your color options. The Goldwing Standard DCT comes in one color. Matte gray. Like a flat gray, like a denim gray. <laughs> and that's it. That's all you got to choose from. Take it or leave it. <laughs> Now, I've seen a lot of people online complaining about the lack of color options for the Goldwing and how people were kind of hoping to get more color options, not less for the Goldwing, or even some new colors. And I gotta admit, I'm kind of in the same page as they are. I was looking forward to seeing some, some new colors of the Goldwing, possibly. New colors available. But it's not gonna happen. All the Goldwings you'll be seeing, you'll still be seeing them it's the same color as they are now, red and black. But like this Hawkside blue is gone. Even that new blue is gone. White's gone. And I was really kind of hoping they would have some new colors. 
like a yellow. Yellow was always popular for the gold wing. Or something bold, like an orange or uh, something different. I don't know. It'd be nice if like every year they had one new custom color. There's no stop sign here. I hate this intersection. But no, Honda's not going to do that. And for the Goldwing standard, it's even worse. They're down to one color and one transmission. A lot of people are saying that the Goldwing standard might go away next year, that it's, this might be its last year. Again, that's rumor. No one knows. You don't know until Honda says otherwise, until they give something official, but they definitely are pairing back the Goldwing standard, that's for sure. It does make you wonder if it is going away down the road. I mean, they're cutting it back. It's good. Demand will fall for it. I mean, people like having options, you know, and especially the transmission. I love my DCT. I think it's a great tranny for this bike, but not it's not for everyone. I mean, people still love shifting manually. They love their six speeds. And if Honda doesn't offer a six speed on the Goldwing Standard, there are people that are just going to go look for another brand. They'll, they'll go elsewhere because they don't want the automatic bike. They don't want the DCT. So Honda's going to be leaving a lot of money on the table with that. So you got to ask the question, why are they limiting the Goldwing Standard to the, the DCT only? I mean, they still have the six-speed transmission offer on the tour, so they're making the six-speed tranny. And they're, they're the same bikes, just the back end's a little different and a few other little options, but essentially it's the same bike, same chassis, same everything. So why wouldn't they offer both trannies on the Goldwing standard? It must be production cost cutting. It's all it's all it could be. I mean it has to be it. I'm guessing they sell a low enough volume on the Goldwing standard that they don't really care if they lose some sales or some customers and that might mean that they're looking to discontinue it that they're just you know pairing it back slowly over time it's possible but we don't know we'll have to wait and see in 2024 if the Goldwing standard is still a thing or not but if you want a Goldwing standard in a color order the map gray you're gonna have to get it wrapped or painted or something because you're out of luck and that's pretty much it those are all the changes and details for the 2023 Goldwing lineup. Not much different, not much changed. A little less options. Now, the reason why I made this video, just to follow up my previous videos, because I wanted to just, on my channel, get out a video with the correct information. I know there were a lot of people hemming and hawing about when those rumors came out a few months ago about the Goldwing standard going away and everything, how people were saying that everyone's just making videos for clickbait to try and get views. And that wasn't my intention when I made my video. I was just trying to give some, some Goldwing information to the public. I mean, the rumors were a thing. They were happening. Whether they were true or not, no one really knew, but there was some... You know, there was an official Honda statement saying the Goldwing standard was discontinued, so... It seemed true, and the reality was the Goldwing Standard 6-speed was discontinued, but the DCT is still around. So you know, that Honda statement they put out a few months ago was half true, but half not. But I saw some other motor vloggers like Chris Caliendi, you know, claim that people shouldn't be spreading rumors, they should wait till they have official information. Part of me agrees with Chris. I mean, spreading misinformation is never a good thing. But at the same time, you really can't fault Goldwing enthusiasts for talking about rumors either. I mean, especially rumors with some, you know, official documentation behind them, no less. Rumors that are partially substantiated and have some, some degree of official merit to them. So while I do agree with Chris Calietti that the rumor mongers aren't necessarily helpful or not a good thing, I disagree that you know people should be allowed to say what they want and talk about news that they want to talk about. They just shouldn't be saying that this is a sure thing or that this is certain, you know, verified or that all going standards are definitely be discontinued. Take it with a grain of salt. It's a rumor. Read into it what you will. But hey, you know this might be happening down the road. That kind of thing. But I just wanted to put out a video with the official news and information on my channel just to clarify it. 
So I have a follow-up video, that kind of thing. I guess this will be a short video because that's really all there is to it. That's all I wanted to say. There's nothing else to talk about. Same bike next year. One model gone. Fewer colors available. <laughs> that's pretty much the gist of it. So let me know down below what you think of the changes for 2023 to the Gold Wing. Use the word changes lightly because it's just, you know, not very substantial changes, but do you think they should have more colors available? Do you think only having red and black is a good thing or a bad thing? Do you think it sucks that the manual tr tranny is going from the Goldwing Standard? Do you think the Goldwing Standard is going away next year? Or do you think it'll still be around? Yeah, leave a comment down below. Well, on that note, this video is gonna be over, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Take care, everyone. Ride safe. I'm gonna go for a little ride here today. The camera's off. Just enjoy the weather because it's actually warm for a change here in Pennsylvania. We just had like a whole week full of rain and cold weather, so this feels pretty glorious right now. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy it while I can. Take care, ride safe. See you next time. Both cameras rolling. Sync. This is 2023 Gold Wing Changes video. Begin. <laughs>